Welcome back to nine overtime, running through the rest of class 5A next, Colin. That's right, and 5A is going to be something to watch this year. A lot of good teams, as always. Let's start with Canatillo and Chapin. Both of these teams, one and one, coming into this week. The Eagles coming off a very tough loss to Eastlake last week. We've seen, though, the Falcons might be the best team in the area, so not a too terrible of a loss for Canatillo in this one. Lorenzo Areola catches the bomb right there from Devin Granados. Jason, I've been really intrigued by how this Canatillo team has been so balanced offensively this year. Yeah, yeah you know what, um, Colin, they got L.J. Martin on offense. Defensively, they're young, but uh, they fly to that ball when they get there. That was Chapin's Anthony Rivera connecting on the touchdown pass right there. Then it's Areola with the catch one more time. And the run gets to the one-yard line where he was ruled down. L.J. Martin in the Wildcats would punch it in from there. He'll be your next Division I commit out of El Paso as Canatillo rolls 34-13.